Have you ever wanted to optimize your Minecraft server? Or are you looking into ways to boost your Minecraft server's performance? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to optimize your Minecraft server using an optimized server.jar file called Pufferfish. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me help more people in the Minecraft server hosting industry. If you are looking for server hosting, I always recommend going for the most bang for the buck server host, Cry Hosting. Cry Hosting is a server host, offering servers for $2 a gigabyte on the fastest CPU in the world, the Ryzen 9 5950X. Get your server today at cryhosting.net and make sure you use code HYPURITY for 20% off your server. With all of that out of the way, I think it's appropriate to provide some backstory on the creation of Pufferfish. Pufferfish was made open source back in December of 2021 and was used privately for several months beforehand by the owner slash creator of Pufferfish, Kevin626. The server.jar has two versions alongside it, a standard version and a version with patches inherited from Perper, another server jar with miscellaneous content tweaks, which both are available for versions 1.17 through 1.18.2. Pufferfish's optimizations include sensory integration, better entity performance, partial asynchronous processing, 8x faster map rendering, and much, much more. Now that we've uncovered some background on Pufferfish's history, we can now begin the process of installing this new server.jar file. If you're running a spigot server, or any fork of spigot, such as paper, then this process is super easy to do. First off, download the version of Pufferfish that you'd like to use from the first link in the video description. Currently, Pufferfish supports versions 1.17.1 to 1.18.2, so if you aren't running these server versions, this could be a deal breaker for you. If you need a server version other than these, I'd suggest downloading Perper from the second link in the video description. For this video, I'm just going to download Pufferfish 1.18.2 by pressing right here and then right here. And as always, don't forget to press save. After downloading the jar file of your choice, navigate to your server's main directory. Here, you'll just need to upload your newly downloaded .jar file by dragging and dropping it onto your panel. After your jar file uploads, you can either change your server's startup commands to the name of your Pufferfish file, or you can rename your Pufferfish file to the jar file that you have already mentioned in your startup commands. In my situation, I'm just going to rename my pufferfish file to server.jar as that's what my server tries to run by default. If you're looking for even more optimization and you have access to the startup flags of your Minecraft server, you'll need to navigate to the video description and paste the text below the links into your server's startup parameters. Even if you aren't using pufferfish and are just watching this video to learn more information, adding this flag will assist in removing server lag no matter what server.jar file you are using. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or just need help installing anything within this video, make sure to join my Discord server where I'll help you to the best of my ability. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.